Okay, welcome back. And one of the places that I always talk about living is Cambodia. And I actually went to Cambodia after living in Korea. And I lived in Cambodia twice for a period of maybe six years. And a lot has changed within those six years. When I first went to Cambodia, there was very few, if any. I'm talking less than three or four stoplights in the entire country. So people would actually drive their mopeds on the sidewalks. And I've been hit almost almost hit three or four times walking on the sidewalks and it's still a very poor country but very beautiful so I'm going to show you some of the sites that you can see while you're in Cambodia uh, I'm going to show you the killing fields and tool slang prison and this is this is where it's more notorious for Cambodia where there was genocide uh, a group of communist socialists took over and wanted to eradicate conservatives and people who are educated so if you went to college you were probably going to be killed if you wore glasses if you had a business if you ran a business if you did whatever it was you probably would have been killed i'm just saying because you were a threat to their uh way of life or whatever you want to put it their ideology so they really wanted to get rid of anybody with an education and the worst part was that they only wanted to get rid of you they would have gotten rid of your entire family so if you had a baby it would have been gone too and in uh tool slang they said well at the killing fields i'm sorry there's signs that say they kill babies but uh, in tool slang, there are skulls, but there's no baby skulls. So I'm thinking, I watched another movie, and they said they threw babies down wells and stuff like that. I mean, it's gruesome. It's horrible to talk about. I really don't. I, I really don't wish that on anybody. So when I hear about some stuff in America, how people are living uh, in tormentous or whatever you want to call it, the government's uh, horrible. Then I think of this, and I'm like, this is nothing. So. Let me just show you, uh, I'm going to show you a little bit on tool slang, uh, the killing fields, then we'll talk about Encore Watt, and I believe I got some pictures of Encore Watt here, and then, uh, it's also CM Reap, and then we'll go to, uh, here. we'll go to Sihanoukville, and I'll show you a picture of me donating water to a hospital after the water festival and what happened basically was uh during a water festival i was up in north in uh cm reap at the time and there was a right after the water festival people walking across from an island called co diamond or diamond island and somebody screamed or hollered and there was a big mad rush to get off the bridge and people actually got stompled on and people actually jumped over the bridge into the water and so I was actually in CM Reap at the time during the water festival and so let me just show you some pictures of Cambodia and okay so last time I talked about how cheap it was to go to Singapore so it would be in t Cambodia it would be depending how long you want to stay if you only want to do a tourist visa or if you want to do a long term there are two types of visas. Let's just do the tourist visa, which is good for uh, 30 days, one entry only. And that is, I believe, $25 or $30. The prices have increased. And it's a $10 fee to uh, taxi ride from the airport. So we're talking $35 right now. You probably could get a plane ticket. I mean, not a plane ticket, a hotel let's just say fifteen dollars so fifteen dollars you got twenty five dollars and then you got ten dollars and then food is probably about fifteen dollars a day so you're talking a total of one two three four sixty five dollars your first day and you probably could live quite comfortably for about uh $55 a day there. So if you did a six-day trip, uh, you would talk about uh, 
$340. Now, if you wanted to go to Angkor Wat, it's a little bit different. You would probably want to fly into the Siem Reap Airport. It'd be about $10 for the taxi, another $25 for the visa still. But if you wanted to go into the Siem Reap or Angkor Wat um, terminal, or whatever you want to call it, the complex, it's going to cost you about $30 for three days or $20 for three days. So you have to pay a fee there. Again, fees change all the time. So you'll have to look up and you need a passport photo to get into the country and you might may need a passport photo to go into Angkor Wat but or CM Reap but sometimes they take pictures of you right there and that's part of your ticket and you need to keep your ticket on you at all times. So I would say a five day six day trip to Cambodia would cost you about $340 total. That is well before the uh airplane ticket so maybe it would cost you between a thousand to eleven hundred dollars twelve hundred dollars total for six days there so without further ado here's cambodia